Um, I go, is anybody here going through any struggles? And, uh, you know, so that's where everybody say, no, I say, I got a suspicion. But I have done. Um, Get out of my way. I have a little demonstration this morning. I need a volunteer from this side that can walk. No volunteers over here that can walk. I don't choose you anyway, Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. I guess I knew this already. You're so smart. You stay right there. Okay. What I want to do is we're going to have a re representation of our Christian walk. So all I want you to do is walk from the first pew to the end pew and then walk back. Okay. And keep on doing that. And just for fun, keep count of how many times you've done it. Okay. Okay, now, while she's doing that, let's say to the back pew, not the front door. There's a pew there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Next to I'm going all the way. I forgot. Next to the last pew. So bad. Okay. Now, while she's doing that, um, I really appreciate Brother Ronnie in his infinite mercy, asking me to minister. Because I used to minister here um, every other Sunday. When, and I, so I appreciate that. But, um, Brother Ronnie, now remember this is a demonstration. <laughs> Brother Ronnie, I really feel like my ministry has gone. I feel like I've lost my ministry. I really feel that way. I feel like I laid it down and it's gone and I can't pick it up again. So first, Brother Ronnie, I want to say, I think my ministry, even though I thank you for doing what you're doing, I think my ministry has ended. God's I want to say that first. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. I'm sorry? God's, shout. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. That's right, brother. That's the word. You know, I, I heard that, and I'm going to accept that, and I'm going to believe it. Matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to take that. <laughs> Okay. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. So, Brother Ronnie, even though I felt that, the Word says that my gift, my calling, God will not take it back. Right. So, even though I felt like I've lost it, by according to God's Word, I haven't lost it. Amen. That's good to know. But you know what? I, even though I know I still have a calling, I feel like I've failed. In my calling, I feel like when I was out of church all that time, I feel like I've allowed my flesh to get strong and the spirit to get weak. And even though that I still have my calling, I felt like I failed in my calling. So secondly, I felt the inability to fulfill my calling. I feel like a failure. Secondly, I feel like a failure. Did God puts your sin to the deep sea of forgetting for us as far as the east is from the west, and never brings them up again. Amen. Did everybody hear what he said? Yes. yes. I didn't. Repeat it. Don't talk very loud. Okay, I mean, that's what he said. God put my sins, my failings, in a deep sea of forgetfulness, and as far as the east is from the west, never brings them up, up again. Thank you, Brother Charles. Amen. I appreciate that. So even though I feel like a failure, I feel like I just totally fell on my face, According to God's word, he forgives me for that. Amen. And he removes that guilt from me. And I don't have to carry that big guilt Hallelujah. around anymore. Amen. I told Daisy the other day, I feel like I'm carrying all my failure around with me. But God said, don't worry about that. He said, forgetting what is behind, what did he say to do? Uh -huh. Press. Press. Yes. Toward the mark and a high calling in him. So that's good. I have, now I have my calling. I know God forgave me for my failure and wants me to keep on. But there's still another thing that's stopping me, and I feel like my inability. I'm an idiot. <laughs> now, see, I'm not saying I'm deaf no more because Brother Louie, I don't see him here, but he said, quit saying that. So now I'm, just, I'm not deaf and dumb. Now I just say I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when I was out of church, a lot of things happened to me. My health failed. My mind failed. Has anybody ever had a... Your mind fail? Yes. Yes. Seriously, it's not funny. No, it is not. not. I mean, he's talking about your own worst enemy. When that happens, that's your own worst enemy. It's got to be. And it's, and it's there. And you have to battle. Yes, you do. So, thirdly, after 
my ministry and God's forgiveness, I fail my own humanity, my own inability. So thirdly, I fail my inability to do what God wants me to do. You can do all things through Christ Jesus. Do what? You can do all things through Christ Jesus. That's a good scripture. I like that. I'm going to take that one too. <laughs> oh, God loving you. Were you worried that I was going to come out of line? <laughs> you can do all things through Christ Jesus. So now God's saying, even though my inability might rise up, if I trust in Him, I can do all things. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Now, you know, one thing I really have trouble with is, you know, this, this isn't easy. <laughs> At home, I have a mini Dotson. I'm going to do that against this for Sister Jane. He's going to fall. You better watch your head. And these legs are getting old and weak, by the way. At home, I have a mini Dotson that likes to climb on furniture. I need him here because this is hard. I don't understand how I'm having to climb and move amongst the people. And Jennifer's just out there walking back and forth. <laughs> so easy. She's not going to be no struggle. How many times have you done this, Jennifer? 39. How many? 39. 39. And I haven't even got to the M1s yet. She's just zooming back and forth. And I'm struggling. And fourthly, is I don't understand why I'm having such a hard time. And she's having such an easy time. We learn by the things we suffer. I'll take that. Now, when I look at my life and her life, just for this demonstration, I'm learning by what I'm suffering. Amen. Jennifer, I've learned that God's gifts and callings are without repentance. Mm -hmm. I've learned that He's forgiven me for my sins. Mm -hmm. I've learned I can do all things in Him. Yeah. And I'm learning that by my suffering, I'm learning things. What have you learned so far? What have you got in your hand? She's a good walker. Huh? But you think that? Now, I want you to think, I'm learning by what I'm suffering over here. I'm suffering. Over right. here, I felt like my ministry was gone, and I've learned that my ministry is still there. I know that. And that I can do all things. So I'm learning how to keep walking. Okay. Now, this is going to be hard. This is, this is a bad road. Can I step on your head? I think I can do this. Hold still, hold still. Oh. Now, I set our walkers to walk down this side and walk back up that side. But I see a problem here. So far, I've had places to go. But now I see something that's impossible. I can't get from here to there. It's impossible. Even if I try, I can't do it. So fifthly, now I see an impossibility in my walk. How am I going to do it? God will make a way where there seemeth to be no way. What? Amen. God will make a way where there seemeth to be no way. God will make a way where there seemeth to be no way. So there don't need to be a way. Did you move one right here? God, God, God makes a way where there seemeth to be no way. Now there wasn't a way there. But God made a way. Thank you, my brother. Now, you're all right, Karen. You're all right. What I've learned on this side, one time Katrina here, I think it was Brother Elmer. I don't remember what the problem was, but he stood up on the platform and he was telling about a problem. And Katrina he diagnosed stood up and him with cancer. She was had that right? received yes. the answer that he was looking for. It was cancer. And it she was. said, it was Brother cancer. Elmer, freely I have received, yeah. freely I give. Yes, right. Now the things over here that I've received that have helped me in my walk, you know what I can do now? God's gifts and callings are without repentance. You can do all things through Christ Jesus. We learn by the things we suffer. God puts your sins in the deep sea of forgetfulness. Give them back. And God will make a way. Amen. Now freely I have received, and freely I have given. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. Sister Jennifer, how many times have you done this? Please stop now. 64, 65. Okay. 64, 65 times she walked her race. I did it once. 
But the race is not to the swift. That's right. But it's he that endureth to the end. Amen. And we go through things in our lives for reasons. It makes us stronger, makes us better Christians, makes us more able. God has a reason for everything we're going through. Amen. So the struggles that you're in, everybody else is too. God has a reason for it. He's saying, you know, he said, um, don't think it. Don't think it Strange. amazing. Strange. Don't think it weird because you're going through these things. I don't mean it's like scripture, but don't think it's Strange. some great pe peculiar thing. But our footsteps are ordered of the Lord. Amen. Yes, they are. I'm done.